And then you're walking around wondering what to do with my life. I'm confused about my purpose in life. I have no energy. I don't want to do anything. Nobody respects me. Why won't girls talk to me? Why am I failing in everything that I do? Well, it's because you're giving your fucking power away every time you nut. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, I'm also interested in knowing your opinion on semen retention or no fap, as it's more popularly no known. Uh, as I'm currently two weeks into this and feeling full of life. Thanks for your time, brother. So look, you're I know what you're doing right now. You're you're asking for affirmation or confirmation or validation. And I'm gonna give it to you because you the fact is you don't need it from me. You know. You already know the answer to that because you're already starting to feel full of life. Remember in the beginning of the call, I was talking about how testosterone is man juice. Well, we also know that every time a man busts a nut, his testosterone levels drop. You lose a tremendous amount of vital and nutritional power. You lose a lot of strength when you bust nuts. That's why guys like Mike Tyson wouldn't have sex weeks before he would go into a fight. Watch some videos about Mike Tyson talking about sex and boxing. Right? All the old boxers used to do that. And of course, you know, our degenerate world, tell, you know, they try to tell people that that's a myth. But the proof is in the pudding. And the greatest athletes understood that if you want to have full vitality, full strength, full focus, full energy, be full of vigor, you can't be out there busting nuts. And because we live in a world that's addicted to pleasure and that uh, pornography is, is available at the tip of your fingers right and palm of your hand um we're we're just spilling our power all over the place and i can tell you from recent experience in my life right like a lot of you guys you guys are a lot younger than me and so you you might not notice it as poignantly as i do but i'm beginning to notice it now that i'm 41 that when i have sex right if i have sex with my wife the next day and maybe like the next two days, my focus is not there. My, my vigor is not there. My workouts are not as strong. Me and my wife have this running joke, though, that I give her my strength. And so, you know, the night after ha having sex or the day after having sex, she's got, she has a great workout. She's feeling, she's bouncing all around. She's feeling great. And I'm just dragging. And I'm like, you stole, you know, I tease her. But I tell her, you stole my strength. Look at you bouncing around here. I'm dragging. You took all my strength, woman. You're going to kill me. <laughs> and that's, why, that's part of the reason why men die before women. Women menstruate once a month. That means a woman, a woman releases all that vital nutrient because there's a lot of vitality that's, that's in a woman's womb, in her uh, or, or, uh, uterus. A lot of the food that she eats and a lot of food that you eat goes into sexual reproduction stuff. And so a lot of that nutrition that she's eating is going into that, into that vital or into that um, reproductive organ. And then once a month, she sheds it. And, when she, and a woman sheds it once a month. You look at how she acts like coming up to that, right? She's like not feeling so good. And like the day of her period, she's like, oh, like tired. She might even look like sunken. It's, like, it's because it's like somebody just... Uh, Somebody just somebody just sucked the life out of her because there's a lot of vitality in that. There's a lot of nutrition in a woman's uh, in her in her cycle blood, right? I'm not telling that you need to like drink it. <laughs> Don't drink it. Don't do it. Um, but there are cultures that will use it like to um, like they will water their a tree with it, right? Maybe like witches and stuff. But there's, but there's scientific validation to that. There's like, well, there's a lot of nutrition there that might be good for the growth of the plant. Um, and even the woman's uter her uh, placenta after having a baby, like in certain cultures and certain animals, they eat it because it's full of a whole lot of stuff. But you got to consider a woman may have, let's say today she has two babies, right? That's average. Two babies. So that's two times her body's, and, and those are traumatic. There's a lot building up in her and then she purges it. And then 12 times a year, where it's a smaller one, she has a purge. Think about that compared to a man who busts his nut every day. Some of you guys, I know that you're nutting every day. You're ejaculating every day. You're ejaculating every day. 365 ejaculations. Each ejaculation is, has the protein of like four steaks and like a dozen eggs. 
<laughs> right? Don't quote me on that, but go look it up. Montak Chia, he does some videos with uh, Brian Rose, and he talks about this. And every time you, every time you release that, you drain yourself. You're draining yourself of that, and your hormones shift. Oxytocin goes up, right? You literally become you become a little bit more woman like every time you ejaculate, right? Maybe maybe even estrogen goes up. I don't know, but your but your uh, testosterone definitely goes down for a little bit of a little bit of time. You can feel it. I feel it. I feel it right away. I didn't used to, or at least I wasn't sensitive enough to notice it when I was younger. But like the past year or two, I've been I've been noticing it. So you guys that have, you know, all this vital energy and you're spilling it out all over the place and then you're walking around wondering what to do with my life. I'm confused about my purpose in life. I have no energy. I don't want to do anything. Nobody respects me. Why won't girls talk to me? Why am I failing in everything that I do? Well, it's because you're giving your fucking power away every time you nut. You know, there's the moral law. Most moral laws support, most religious moral law, and this is why I have a call to tradition. A lot of people are like, Elliot, we can't go back to tradition. Tradition doesn't work. You know, got to understand something. Tradition supports moral law. There's a reason why the church said don't jerk off. <laughs> right? There's a reason why it's a sin. Right? Now, the, the natural law says that you're spilling your seed. So it's kind of a waste. And in a way, that's a spiritual law. God's like, don't spill the seed because there's, it's powerful and it a, has a co-creative power to it. And you don't want to waste it. And you don't want to go around having sex with women and spilling your seed. You know, not In other words, not getting her pregnant because there's a manipulative power that's associated with sex. And that's why a lot of you guys get addicted to women. Let women, women push you around. So there's, there's, there's a psychological law, there's a spiritual law, and there's a natural law. Natural law says you keep busting your nuts, you're going to be weak. You're going to be weak. And like I said, you're going to die earlier. I, I, another joke I have with my wife is that every time I, I have sex with her, I'm like, that's one day, one day less that I'm going to live. That's just one less day. And in a way, it's true. In a way, it takes away your vitality. And that is, and I don't know, I don't know if this is, I don't know if they, you go, you go do your research, but I've heard it said, and it makes sense that this is a part of the reason why men die before women, because we're ejaculating 365 times a year rather than them 12. We give ourselves away, you know, even beyond no fat, semen retention is important to consider as well, because we give, we, we just give a piece of ourselves away every time we have sex. We got to ask ourselves, is it worth busting this nut right now? And we should be on a nut busting timetable. This is another one. I've heard a, a couple doctors talking about this, prominent people. But Montak Chia talks about it also, also too, uh, that based on your age, there's a certain amount that you should and should not be, like a time frame between when you, when you ejaculate. And so I know... That as, and I have a book that I think, I need to go look it up. I think I have a book that tells you. Oh, I'm pretty sure I do. I have to go look for that book. Um, what is it called? It's called Listen to Your Body or something like that. But anyway, uh, in it, and according to these experts, at a 48-year-old man, 40-year-old man, 41-year-old man, I'm not supposed to be busting my nut any more than once every 10 days. Think about that. Think about that. There's some times that I was having sex like three, four times a week. With my wife, once every 10 days, once every 10 days, right? And as I think like as a, as a, a 20 year old, you know, it shouldn't be something like once every five days, right? And as a 30 year old, it should be like once every seven days, something like that. Go look it up. I don't remember the author of the book, but uh, look into this stuff. You do your own research. I'm just kind of like throwing it out there so you to pique your interest. So that's it, man. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. I think semen retention is a good idea. I think NoFap, it, it, it's supported by the spiritual law, the moral law, the natural law. It's not, it's not virtuous. It's not manly. It's not a good thing to do. Um, it's not even my opinion or my judgment. Just look at the fruits 
or the lack thereof. And so that's it. That's my opinion. Hope that helps, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot Hulse here. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent sessions with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things related to becoming kings in our lives. If that sounds like you, and you're interested in joining a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, and me and my team will get back to you with the details to see if you qualify to join us. I hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.